Yeah, cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light uh. Hey, uh, what is up people? My name is Blaine Page And welcome to my Journey into Angoro Hearthstone card review and discussion This is part 2 Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you guys missed part 1, it will be at the very top of my description box down below. So click that and go check that out. So with that said, we're now just going to get into the new cards that Blizzard revealed to us today. And sorry, my phone has been going off all day long. And yeah, that was me throwing it behind me. Okay, so starting off, there is Tortalan Shell Razor. So this is a new priest card, 4 mana, 2, 6. Taunt, Death Rattle, give a random friendly minion, plus 1, plus 1. So this is a very good card. Like a lot of other priest cards, it has a lot of health, which is very good. It goes with the hero power, and a lot of other cards uh, can combo off this one. And it's also really good that it's a death rattle, because the new uh, quest that priest got, which is this, uh, Awaken the Makers, it allows you to get Amara, Warren of Hope, once you summon seven death rattle minions. So this card coincides with priest in more ways than one. It is very good. Um... Tortalon Shell Razor, I think, is going to be a great competitive card. It's going to be a great arena card, though. I do not play arena, uh, but I think this card is going to be very, very good. Uh, two mana, uh, or four mana, two six, uh, is very good. Plus the death rattle effect of just giving a friendly mi random minion plus one plus one um, can really uh, make dragon priest really good. It can make buff priest really good, um, and it can just go with the quest. Uh, very, very nicely. So that is Tortellan Shell Razor. Very good card, in my opinion. It's going to be widely played. Next card, there is Tar Creeper. It is a neutral card, 3 mana, 1, 5. It is an elemental. It has taunt, has plus 2 attack during your opponent's turn. So, uh, kind of think of Sludge Belcher, um, kind of in a way. Only on your opponent's turn does this have plus 2 attack towards a 3, 5 instead of 1, 5. Uh, so, my opinions on this is that it can be played in Paladin, it can be played in Priest, Warrior, and Druid uh, very nicely, in my opinion. With Paladin, you can buff this to where it has maybe like a 5 attack or something on your opponent's turn instead of just 3. Uh, for Warrior, I know that there's a few buff taunt kind of cards. I think this card can be played very nicely in Fatigue, Warrior, for Druid. Um, I know that Druid is a bit more slower than some decks. I think this can combo in with early game for Druid very nicely. It can help you establish good board state early on to where you guys can get off your J Druids or whatever you guys are playing with Druid. And yeah, just honestly, I think this is a very good neutral card. Overall, I think he's a great 3-drop. And Buff Paladin, I, th I think, is going to do a lot of stuff with this card, in my opinion, to where he is a devastating 3-drop. Next card is Swamp King Dread. It is a 7 mana 9 9 beast for Hunter. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. So this card is a bit controversial. I think this card can coincide nicely with Coyote. I think that's the name of the Hunter Beast card where whenever a beast uh, dies or kills something, it gains plus 2 2. I forget what that card actually does. I'll have it on screen somewhere. But. Uh, I think this card can work with that very nicely. Um, it's, a, it's controversial because this thing can just... People can just spam cards onto the field, and this card will attack into it and most likely kill it. Um, which can also be very, very good. It can be a very good stop to a lot of pushes onto the board. Um, I'd have to see what this card can do, to be quite honest. It does have the beast typing in it to where... It can coincide with a lot of beast decks more fluently. And 7 mana 9 9 is very, very big. Uh, you can definitely play this on a turn to prevent your opponent from summoning something devastating that can change the game. Because this card will most likely take out almost anything your opponent will play. A few cards that can't get destroyed by this are 8 mana or more. So, um, yeah, I think Swamp King Dread is going to be a very good control card as well as just a punisher to your opponent if he tries to make a quick play on you or something. I mean, the stats are great. The mana worth for it is perfect. 
and I like the effect a lot. I'm going to have to play around with it and see how it actually does. Overall, I think this card deserves probably a 7 out of 10 stars, just because I think he can be abu a bit abused in some aspects to where your opponent can just spam really low-cost minions, and this card just keeps running into those, and then it kills itself. Uh, which can also be a good trade-off because then your opponent just played a lot of useless low-cost minions for no reason. So, um, I don't know. I'd have to play with this card. I think it's really good. I think it has a lot of potential in Hunter decks. Um, so, we'll, we'll have to see. Next card is Shurizen Corpse Flower. It is a new Rogue Legendary. 4 mana, 5, 3. Death Rattle, go dormant. Play 4 cards in a turn to revive this minion. I think they're going to put a lot of support for this card in the expansion. Um, I think they're going to put a lot of low cost mana cards to where you can combo with this deck because that's what Priest is. It's a combo deck. They're going to make it to where this card can combo with a lot of low cost minions or low cost spells to where this card can keep coming back over and over and over. That is my opinion on this. I think that's what they're going to do. They may not do that, but I can definitely see Blizzard doing that just to see if they can make a new archetype for Rogue, a new deck for Rogue. Um, overall, I think its stats are perfect. Uh, play four cards in a single turn to revive this minion. Seems fair enough. Um, four cards is a bit much, but you never know what kind of cards they may uh, add to the Rogue uh, archetype to where this card can get comboed very easily. Uh, I'd have to see what other cards they release for Rogue to actually give a good review of this card but overall as of right now i think this card has potential with what it is right now and if it gets a lot of support for this legendary i think this card is going to be crazy and rogue is going to be very unstoppable with this card um part of me wants to think that i wish it was three cards in the turn to revive this minion because four does kind of seem a lot but uh, i think this is a good card in my opinion a very good legendary and I'm glad it's added to Hearthstone. Next up is Lockery Sacrifice, the Warlock quest. Uh, one mana, obviously, and the quest is discard six cards. Reward, Nether Portal. Alright, so Nether Portal, and what I saw was that it made a minion, and then off to the sides of it, it would spawn 1-1 one, one minions. So, it's this can be a bit of a... Uh, I think this card has potential. Uh, is it worth it? Um, maybe. Uh, in discard decks, this is obviously going to be uh, very strong. Uh, what other Warlock decks are there? There is Handlock. There is uh, Reno Lock. There's Zoo Warlock. Uh, I think this card is most definitely going to be played in discard Warlock, obviously, as well as uh, Warlock Zoo, or Zoo Warlock, whatever it's called. Um, besides that, I don't really see this card being of great use to Reno Lock or Handlock in general. Um, this, it's only for really two archetypes right now. Uh, but in those two archetypes, I think this. Uh, but in those two decks, I think this card can go off and really show its worth. Uh, overall, I think it's a mediocre card, but also uh, decent enough. We'd have to see what it can actually uh, accomplish. Next up is Lackery Fellhound. It is a 4 mana 3 8 warlock card. It is a demon and it has taunt as well as the battle cry of discard two random cards. I think this is a very good card for what it's worth. Um, it coincides with the quest I just showed you guys, which is uh, Lackery Sacrifice. It coincides with that very nicely. So this card, just based off that, is very good. But if you guys aren't playing that quest, it is still a very strong card. 4 mana, 3, 8 taunt is great. If you're playing a discard deck, this is even better. If you're playing like a zoo deck, this is very great as well. Um, I think this card is going to be a bit of trouble, definitely, for the early game for a lot of uh, decks out there to handle. And having it as a demon makes it even better because there's some cards out there that can search out demons. There's some cards that can buff demons as well as, you know, uh, make, the, make it to where they can do specific things on the board. So, uh, Lackery Fellhound, I think, is a very good card. You're going to see it in Constructed, and it's going to uh, do a lot of work for Warlock decks. Next up 
is Galaka Crawler. Two mana, two, three beast. It is a neutral card, and its battle cry is destroy a pirate and gain plus one, plus one. Okay, so they're trying to make it to where Pirate Warrior, Pirate Rogue, and Pirate Shaman aren't as big of a threat and as high of a tier as it is right now with this card. Okay, so every time you summon a pirate from a good warrior or rogue or shaman pirate deck, it'll summon patches. Play this card on turn two, you destroy a pirate, and you gain plus one, plus one. That still leaves one pirate on the board. Plus the weapon, I don't think this card can do the trick. I don't think this card alone will stop pirate warrior shaman and rogue from going off it's not good enough even if you play two copies of it and even if so it's a tech card you can't you don't want to play two of this in every deck because sometimes you might not go up against a pirate warrior or whatever so honestly i don't think this card is good enough even if it does go off and you do destroy a pirate and it is a two mana three four it can still get destroyed next turn even though those decks only go face anyways. So, I don't know. I don't think it's good enough. Even if it was a one-mana card. Um, yeah, I just I just don't see this card being good enough, maybe. Um, would, it would have to get more support for destroying pirates in order for that deck to get countered. And even if so, they still have... A lot of resources at hand to where they can just go face and destroy us by turn five or six so uh my opinion on this is that it's not good enough and it will probably be ran just because warrior and rogue and shaman are still going to be playing pirate warrior and we need a counter to it some way but this isn't a good enough uh, counter it maybe if it had taunt that'd be even better but it doesn't have taunt so i don't know I can see this card being ran in a lot of decks as tech, but yeah, I'd give it four out of ten stars. Next card is Elise the Trailblazer, a five mana five five battle cry shuffle a sealed Ungoro pack into your deck. So it's not an actual pack. You don't get the cards that you open up with this card, but once you draw that Ungoro pack from your deck, you open it on the field and you get five cards. And from what Blizzard said, uh, that pack contains a bunch of really rare cards. You're uh, likely to get a legendary or two out of every pack that you guys get with this card. So uh, I think this card is very good. I don't know if that sealed Ungoro pack is just from the Ungoro expansion or it's from every expansion. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this can be a very hard, tricky card to play around with to see if you guys can combo with it you guys get five cards and you have a very high chance of getting a legendary or epic minion out of it though or epic um let spell card out of it so um this seems like a very fun card not very competitive and i like that i like that a lot but i think it can also do some good work in constructed and i think this card's going to be amazing in arena uh, i think it's a good card it reminds me of that one other five mana five five put five random legendaries into your deck it reminds me of that so i like what I like this card like what it does and i think it's gonna be fun next up is the new paladin spell card which is dino size eight mana uh, set a minion's attack and health to 10. so eight mana is quite a lot but is setting a minion's attack and health to 10 a good trade-off you could hero power and then play this card and it is then a one mana or a two mana 10 10 um, which can be very good but I think it would I think the card would need to have either divine shield or even charge maybe even taunt um, there is the one mana one one divine shield minion you could play that then also play dino size and then have one mana to do something else that could be a good play uh th i think there's a few good like uh murloc cards that you guys could do with this i know that there is the charge 
Murloc. It is a 2 mana 2-1. Two, and then you guys can make it a 2 mana 10-10 ten, ten charge. So I think this card is very good for what it is. I kind of wish it was maybe 1-2 one, one to two mana less. But by then I think it might be broken. So I think 8 mana is good. kind of wish it was 7. But I think it's a good card. Um, I'd have to see how it plays. Because that that Murloc that has charged and is 2 mana 2-1, two, making it a 2 mana 10-10 ten, ten charge is devastating. Um, that can do a lot of work. So we'd have to see. I think it's a good card. I think it's going to get ran. And it goes with what Paladin is trying to do, and it's trying to buff cards into making them better. So I think Dynasty Eyes is a good card. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 stars. Last card of this set that got revealed to us is Arcanologist, a mage card. It is a 2 mana 2 3 battle cry draw a secret from your deck. Okay, so all mage secrets are 3 mana, so this is a perfect curve every time if you guys get this and play it on turn 2. Um, I think that's great. It, you can get to your ice barrier or your ice block or your mirror entity or whatever else you guys are playing with relative ease, which is great. It's going to let you get to a lot of your key secrets that you need, especially like Mirror Entity or something, So or Counterspell. So Arcanologist, I think, is a good card. I would give it uh, 10 out of 10 just because it. if you guys play on, on turn 2, you guys have Perfect Curve to play your secret next turn. So, uh, yeah, that's my opinion on this card. I think it's really good. It's going to be played, and it's going to be... Uh, seen in most mage decks. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. My favorite card out of all of this probably is this one right here, Surzen Corpse Flower. I, I think that it's just going to do a lot of work. I think it's going to get a lot of cards to help it out to where it can combo really well with Rogue. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy my card review and discussion. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I upload Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Hearthstone videos, so if you guys are down for that shit, hit that subscribe button and you guys won't miss out. Thank you guys for watching, and again, I'll catch you guys later. Adios.